we're rolling. This is going to be a video on something new called, uh, well actually this has probably been out for more than a year or two and I never had opportunity to uh, try one. So I ordered this directly from China and I uh, bought it from them. I think I paid probably the $99, which probably also included the shipping. Nope, $79.99 and plus shipping probably about $10, $12. And uh, so that's where this came from. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna call the name of this uh, company, Xiaomi, X-I-A-O-M-I, -I, and there's, I'm sure there's some other pronunciation for it, but uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do, because that's all I know. And uh, it's, um, this particular headphone's a portable on-ear. It does not have hardly any isolation. In fact, I wouldn't call it isolation. It might dull the highs just a tiny bit, but it's not gonna, really block out um, a significant amount of sound. The uh, leakage on it is total, so uh, you wouldn't want to play it at uh, a decent volume level in a library or whatever. So uh, so that's the story. However, uh, what's really amazing about this headphone at $79.99 is, that's US dollars, it uh, has an amazing build that I haven't seen on anything less than $1,000. I would say the build quality is at least equal to the Biodynamic uh, T1. It certainly is better than the T90 and anything below that. And eh, my um, DT1770 costs $600, might be comparable in build, but I don't think it's quite as good as this. Taking this out of the box reminded me of uh, taking the uh, Leica X1 out of the box uh, six, six years ago. And I thought it was just like taking a fine jewel out of a jewelry box. It's pretty amazing. This is mostly metal. Uh, the headband is uh, some kind of leather or leatherette, all stitched really nice here. And we can see the MI on there, hopefully. Yeah. And it's a uh, Xiaomi, uh, what do they call this? Let's see if they have an actual model on here. I think it's called, um, no, that's the white box. See what the outer box here says. It says uh, it also says one more on it. So it, that's getting to be a, a, a big thing now. One more and Xiaomi, I guess, are pretty much the same thing. This is called the MI headphones. Now I had the MI uh, IEM or in-ear monitor, and uh, it was a very nice one. Very inexpensive, like twenty twenty dollars, twenty four dollars. This is just uh, just unbelievable. Uh, the quality of this thing. It's it's not just mostly metal and extremely well finished it looks great and also if that wasn't enough these ear pads are the best ear pads I've ever had now they remind me a lot of the ear pads that I had on the uh, the uh, ATH Audio Technica uh, ESW 9A except the 9A pads were beveled and these are flat which is much better the pads that I had on the ESW 11 limited which is a $700 headphone were fairly flat like these, but uh, stiffer. These are much softer and squishier, and this is just a fantastic ear pad. This is uh, probably the best ear pad since the Biodynamic T51 ear pads, which I have placed on my two DT1350 headphones. And uh, those are superb pads, but I think these are even better. They are absolutely amazing. This is incredibly comfortable. Um, and I'm going to get to the sound, which is good. And they fold. So you can uh, fold these up and put them into an amazing carry case, which I'll show you in a minute, which actually comes with it. This has got to be like some kind of a... I can, it's hard to believe that uh, either $79 or $99 could be the normal price because that's just... This is like, like a jewel. It's just amazing. Metal and uh, the, just uh, absolutely incredible. There's a detachable cable. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Oh, there we go. That's the red right side and then the uh, white's the left side. And that looks like it's stereo, but they're going into each ear cup separately, so it's double entry. So you don't have any uh, conductor going across the headphone, which is good. Uh, single entry is more, oh, um, um, you know, more easy to use or whatever because you don't get any tangles, but uh, double entry is always better for the sound. So this is just an amazing little machine. And uh, what else can I tell you about it? 
uh, I'm going to rave on and on about this because it's it has a uh, fabric covered cable. Uh, we're not going to probably see that real accurately here, but um, yeah, we can see that here. It's fabric covered. It's all woven, and then uh, on the end, of course, we have the mini plug, and uh, it has an extra conductor on it. I tried the box on here. This is the um, control box, and uh, it almost looks like a three-piece on here, if we can see that. It has a microphone, of course. Uh, it looks like a three-button box, but uh, actually only uh, one button seems to work. The uh, other two don't seem to do anything at all. But the center button is good for uh, start, stop, uh, next, and previous, and uh, like most of those. So that's good enough for me. And like I said, it has a microphone on it. So, uh, let's open the other box while we get ready to talk about the sound. And it comes with, uh, cable comes in the box, of course. And, uh, believe it or not, there's extra ear pads. These are, uh, oval ear pads, big ear pads that will go around ears instead of the ones that go on ears. And I've read about the sound of these. Supposedly they're more neutral or something, less bass, whatever. But I think uh, for a portable headphone, I think the sound that uh, comes with uh, default ear pads is the best way to go. And they are superbly comfortable, so I don't see any reason to change them at all. I don't want to go through a whole bunch of work to try to evaluate the sound of the uh, oval ear pads. I just don't see any reason for them. So, getting into the hard case, we have a little hard case here. And this is very small. It's a little bigger in my hand, but um, let's see if I can open this up. Oh, yeah little clamshell case uh, like so zippers up a very nice case it usually comes only with uh, expensive headphones and uh, this has the airline adapter and it also has a uh, quarter inch adapter so they thought of everything here and it's a flat ended quarter inch adapter which is the best kind you never want those screw on kinds uh, too many uh, shorts with those and uh, that's basically it for the uh, box and uh, the, the packaging on this is just amazing but anyway the headphone uh, getting into that uh, wow just incredible so uh, the sound is um, I'd say the bass is about two-thirds as much as the V Moda M100 and which is a very strong bass on the M100 and a little bit less so here but still pretty strong so if you're into classical jazz, things like that, you may want to lighten up on the bass a little bit, which is fine, because when you do lighten up on the bass, you don't, uh, the bass doesn't thin out like it would if your bass was poor quality. The bass actually becomes uh, very tight and detailed and uh, great impact. And uh, so uh, the, the bass is very, very high quality, which is pretty amazing actually, given the size of the headphone, the price and all that. Absolutely phenomenal. The uh, mid-range, uh, unexceptional, I, th I th believe, let me think, uh, yes, it might be a little forward in the mid-range, and I'm going to say right around 500 to 600 hertz. It's a little bit forward there. And uh, then when you get above uh, 1 kilohertz, uh, kind of hard to say, the trouble might be a little bit uneven, but the, the, the thing of it is, is that when you play these flat out of the box and you just listen, the tonality is good for music. And uh, if you're going to use these as a portable headphone somewhere, then um, I don't think you'll need to change anything. Uh, I, I'm, of course, everybody knows I'm real big on equalizing and stuff, but uh, by and large, uh, for what its use is intended for, uh, you don't need to do anything. If you wanted to use these as a high-quality home headphone for a high-end uh, set, you could actually do that because uh, you uh, tune up the sound a little bit with an equalizer and... Uh, the quality of the drivers and everything else is so good that uh, you could actually use this as a high-end headphone, which is sounds kind of crazy, but it's true. Anyway, I can't say enough about the quality of this. It's just absolutely phenomenal. You fold this thing up, tuck it in that little box, you can throw it in anything, probably backpacks and whatever. Uh, and uh, the range of adjustment is good. There's uh, about an inch, an inch and a quarter of adjustment here, you can see. and. Uh, I fit into the lower third of that, so about a half an inch. Uh, it'll go a half inch smaller on each side for smaller heads than mine, average size head, and uh, about three quarters of an inch bigger. So it'll fit some pretty big heads and uh, small heads and uh, great range of adjustment. 
Wow, I just can't say enough about this. What a find. And this thing's been out for quite a while. But as far as I know, it's just called the Xiaomi MI. And uh, also has the name One More on the box. So there's a lot of, a lot of different things coming out these days. And uh, under those names. Boy, I'll tell you what. I, I, I can't vouch for everything that they do. But this thing is just utterly fantastic. So um, anyway, there it is. Highly, highly... Highly recommended. Thank you.